Yeah, that heat is still on, but we're also going to throw a little bit in the way of some showers and storms into the mix, uh, maybe more than a little bit, depending on the day. You'll see that just within the past you know, 20 minutes or so. We've got something blossoming up on the north side of Fayette County there on the max track. And if we zoom it out and throw a, an hour's worth of data on, you can see some development of showers south of Louisville in that little pop as we get into Fayette County. So we're going to see. Uh, some occasional showers, thunder showers through the early afternoon, but I think our main round of development probably won't get going until later on tonight. And they've had strong to severe storms, had a pretty impressive round go through Ohio, West Virginia, Indiana overnight. There's another batch gearing up uh, back to the west, just getting going. You can also see some development back north of Owensboro. So that's where the severe threat is for today. There's a slight risk from the Dakotas. It's actually been expanded a bit, it runs down through. Uh, parts of Nebraska and also into uh, northern Kansas. We have this marginal risk for severe storms, the low end of the threat assessments, but still something worth watching today and tomorrow. It it's actually expands up into Ohio and Indiana and because these storms that fire could pack a little bit of a punch, possibility of some stronger wind gusts and torrential rainfall. And it'll be fairly hit or miss. This is through this afternoon. What we're going to keep an eye on is whether or not this round back to the west will hold together. Model run to model run, uh, the data has been going back and forth as to not whether or not that will happen. But I think if we see anything on the strong to severe side, it would be late this afternoon, potentially into this evening if that batch holds together. And then some additional scattered showers and storms tomorrow as a warm front lifts north. And then into uh, Wednesday, I think we'll see it peak again, especially later in the day as this cold front drops in from the northwest. That's Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon after into the evening, you can see those showers and storms blossoming again. And notice it's southeast. That's where we could use some rainfall. The 30-day percentage of normal rainfall shows where we're running dry. It's northeastern Kentucky, parts of the bluegrass running into southeastern Kentucky. You're overperforming. You're wet out west, and that syncs up with the current drought information. We're running dry in the northeastern and southeastern counties. Uh, the precursor there to going into a moderate drought in spots. Future rainfall isn't encouraging, though. It's showing a lot of the uh, better chances for rain. At least a couple of inches could be out west. Now, this is over a number of days, but uh, those numbers will change, especially as we get into Wednesday and that second round pops up. So you guys in the southeastern Kentucky may be waiting a little longer in the week to get much in the way of a decent rainfall. Temperature wise, we are in the mid 80s. It is warm. It's already 90 in Richmond. The dew points in the low to mid 70s. It is steamy out there. Hit 92 degrees. Uh, yesterday, so we missed our highest high of the year so far, so that still holds at 93 July 5th. But look at Jackson and London. Jackson hit 93. That was one degree shy of a record high. London yesterday hit 94, two degrees shy of a record high. So yeah, that heat is still cranking and we're going to be upper 80s around low 90s down south again today. And so it goes the rest of the week. The one changing factor will be the coverage of the showers and storms. I think we'll see a pop later on today. Another uh, more substantial around Wednesday. Low end threat continues with us Thursday and Friday. And then high pressure clamps down. The storm chances back off this weekend. It looks like we could crank that heat back up to the low 90s this weekend for just about everybody.